Breaking news overnight. The embattled governor of Puerto Rico announcing he is stepping down after mounting scandal and weeks of protests. Good morning. I'm Dick Brennan. I'm Chris Raggi. And I'm Mary Calvi. Welcome to CBS News this morning. The governor's decision to step down comes nearly two weeks after massive protests. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joins us live with more. Jenna. Dick and Mary, over the past two weeks, protesters have made their message clear. They would not back down until the governor stepped down, and their rallying cries were heard as he announced his resignation in a Facebook video late last night. Tears erupted outside the governor's mansion in Old San Juan. The people of Puerto Rico waving flags, dancing, and breaking out in song after Governor Ricardo Roseo announced he is stepping down. Que estaré renunciando al puesto del gobernador efectivo el viernes 2 de agosto del 2019. This comes after nearly two weeks of protests. Tens of thousands packing the streets, calling for his resignation. We're in the streets and we're not going away. Puerto Ricans have been outraged ever since chat messages leaked earlier this month between the governor and his inner circle that included profane, homophobic, and sexist comments. More than a dozen government officials have resigned since, including Roseo, Secretary of State, who would have been next in line for governor. The FBI also arrested two former top officials on corruption charges. He cometido errores y me he disculpado. Over the weekend, Roseo posted a video to Facebook apologizing and saying he would not run for re-election. But that was not enough for many Puerto Ricans, already frustrated with the slow recovery from Hurricane Maria nearly two years ago, now celebrating the governor's decision to leave office. The governor's resignation will take effect on August 2nd. Secretary of Justice Wanda Vasquez will take his place. Mary. All right, Jenna DeAngelis, thank you so much. A story we've been following and will continue to follow.